was told about my HIV in the mid-80s. I was told not to tell anyone for fear of rejection. By the age of nine, I started telling people. I started talking at schools so I could share my story with others. Because I've been living with HIV for most of my life, I'd like to think my dream stayed the same. I still want to finish school, college, finishing up graduate school, live life to the fullest, stay in good health, have a family, get married, have children, the same as everyone else. HIV is not to be seen as a death sentence. It's just something to give you an opportunity to look at life differently. Dating's never easy. You, f you meet someone that you like, you fall in love with them or you fall in love with something about them, and then you're f uh, scared about how to tell them about that side of your life. I feel that if I wait too long, people think that I'm not telling the truth. If I tell them too soon, then they don't get to see me for who I am as a person. And they see me as a label, just HIV. I'd like to settle down and have a family, have someone to love me for who I am. Hopefully I'll have kids and children and live a life like, a, like what other people want. Unfortunately, HIV is all I know. I don't really remember a time when I didn't have HIV. So all I can do is try to stay optimistic. and appreciate that I have what I have, and that I'm, and what I've been given. Fortunately, I try to stay healthy and live for something, to have goals in the future. But I also know that I have to live in the moment and live one day at a time, because I don't know how long I have if I'll get sick or if something will happen. Sure, HIV creates a obstacle and makes it harder, but there's still a lot to offer and a lot in life to live for each day. I've been on HIV meds for 17 years. I've been on several cocktails ranging from headaches to passing kidney stones to being sick, nauseous, lack of appetite, um, not feeling well, not feeling healthy to go to school. But I knew that by taking the meds, it would hopefully keep me healthy enough to stay alive. I know with time, as I become more comfortable within myself about the HIV, that I'll be able to find someone who appreciates me for who I am. And I don't have to pretend to be someone else to try to find someone. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope that what you learned, you can take away something, some knowledge. As I said, if at least one person learned something from this, then I did my job. I'm 25 years old. I live in Accord, New York, and I've been living with HIV for over 24 years. Mm -hmm.